Fox Carolina first alert weather. Good morning, everyone. We do have, I would say, another nice day. It's definitely going to be decent out there. As we go on throughout the day, though, we get chances of more clouds coming on in and then also rain, too, which is something we're going to be tracking. For now, though, let's just talk about the temps. We have the 60s for us later on this afternoon, a mid-60 for many, like Greenville 65, 67 in Lawrence, Prosperity, Greenwood, and then a low 60 in Asheville. Mild still, clouds will be moving in throughout the day. This is something we'll continue to see for the mountains and the upstate, too. Still fairly chilly-ish as we go on throughout the morning. I mean, 8 o'clock, still in the 40s to the 30s for some, depending on where you're at. I would say grab a jacket this morning, but you don't really need it later on this afternoon. We'll get still partly sunny skies up until about noon and then even post noon I would say one two o'clock that's when things start to make a switch from partly sunny to mostly cloudy and then straight overcast skies with chances of rain moving in during that time too. We can see that on future track here. Some cloud cover is sticking around until later on. We get a nice little break before the thick clouds move on in. This is going to be throughout the afternoon one two o'clock really starting to make the overcast skies be more widespread. I think that's going to be the case around four or five o'clock with that chance of some rain moving in right after it. Models have been all over the place with wanting to pull in the rain a bit earlier for some versus others. It looks like widespread rain showers will continue overnight into very early Friday morning. I think honestly most of your drive tomorrow morning is going to be probably clear from the showers. You could run into a light rain, a sprinkle here or there, some misty conditions with thick cloud cover still in abundance at that time, but I really don't think it's going to be that much of an issue tomorrow morning. Then we get a nice little break too from the clouds. So the sun's actually going to make an appearance tomorrow. I would say late afternoon, early evening before we finally get that sun to set. I mean, we're not tracking much rain. The totals are very slim to none. We're talking like a tenth of an inch, a quarter of an inch. That's going to be your maximum highest totals like in Anderson, Hartwell, Elberton, just under a half an inch there. Friday still going to be fairly wet at times, but really I think a lot of you are probably going to be sleeping still when we get the bulk of this rain to move in. So most of the day is actually going to be dry. This icon looks a little daunting compared to what we're actually going to be dealing with. The 60s to the 50s with your high temperatures for Friday. Saturday, beautiful. We clear out even Friday evening, like I said. So if you have any outdoor plans Friday evening, you know, you want to get out and enjoy maybe some dinner, celebrate the work week being done, you can absolutely do that. It's going to continue into Saturday too. Saturday is going to be your day to get out and do some exploring. If you want to get outside and, and soak up that sunshine, it's definitely the day to do it with highs in the 60s for the upstate and the 50s in the mountains. And then on Sunday, it's going to be a little chilly. We have highs dipping back down to the 40s for us on Sunday. Don't forget though, we do spring forward as well Saturday into Sunday. So you lose an hour of sleep. Maybe try to, I don't know, Get an extra hour of sleep today, tomorrow, if you can. We do have then Monday into next week showing mostly sunny skies. It's going to be fairly nice. Highs will get back up to milder conditions, the 50s, for many of us into next week.